So welcome to episode seven. I actually had to uh, contact Matt today and confirm which episode we were on because I did miss last week. But welcome to Wednesday, December 18th. It's it going to be <laughs> nine o'clock. It's going to be nine o'clock when this broadcasts. We're doing it a little bit different today because we're taping it and then we're going to be premiering it. But just so you know, Matt and I will both be in the comments of wherever you're watching this from nine o'clock Eastern. And if you have any questions or comments, we will be responding. Yeah. So a little bit different, but we'll still be there for interactions. So we hope to hear from you at nine o'clock, which is now if you're watching this. Uh, so we're still snipping our way through the catalog. Hopefully we'll make it before it transitions over. Maybe not, but we're going to do our best. Um, do we want to do them in any particular order or just ping pong? Let's just ping pong. You go first. Okay. Uh, so first one I'll grab here is Mystery Man. Mystery Man has been around since I joined Sensi back in 2017. I don't know if it was there beforehand or not. And it is, so I, I compare this to My Dear Watson. Those were both like another very masculine scent. Um, that one I feel was more leathery, a um, little more sophisticated. Uh, Mystery Man is just kind of like, like a men's body wash or, or something like that. It's very clean, um, but definitely very masculine. I feel like it has an alcohol note, like aftershave. Sure. Um, and almost some pepper, maybe, like Old Spice, but not spice, not like cinnamon or nutmeg, but right. I wonder pepper. If... I smell pepper. I don't know why. Let me pull up their scent notes real quick. Okay, warm, uh, warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot, and a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. I don't get any of that. No, I don't get bergamot at all, because bergamot is kind of citrus, right? Yeah, yeah. But okay. <laughs> but who cares? If you like it, it's great. Um, I know that it comes in pods. I've never experienced it in pods, but I've used it in body wash, lotion, like the whole nine. And I do enjoy it, but I do not like to warm Mystery mm -hmm. Man. As an atmospheric fragrance, it doesn't quite work, but as a contact fragrance, meaning if I put my face up to my husband's neck, I would want to smell that. But I don't know if I want a room to smell like it. Sure. I have um, quite a few consultants on my team that mix Mystery Man with Luna and mm -hmm. absolutely love it. And that's I haven't exactly, tried it. And that's exactly what I'm <laughs> going to talk about right now. For some reason, I don't know if you guys can see it, my Luna turned green. Oh, now, that's fun. That, um, this this uh, tester is about a year and a half old. Uh, I don't know when they changed the shape of the testers or mm -hmm. the size of the testers, but that's the, how old this one is. So it's about a year and a half to two years old. It still smells great. Um, yeah. My absolute favorite form of this fragrance is in the laundry. I feel like it's just strong enough. It's just impactful enough. I don't really like this. I didn't like this in the body cream. I think it came in the body cream for a short time. I don't know if it's still, it. yeah, it's still available in the body cream. Not crazy about it. Um, the scent notes have a lot of floral in it, but I don't, I almost smell like a manly to me. It smells like, like an aquatic. Right. To me, this would be categorized more under the fresh than the floral. Um, yeah. And interestingly enough, this is the only floral in this season's catalog. Right. Um, with it being fall, winter. Um, Luna, I mean, is definitely a staple for, you know, sensey sense as it goes. Yes. But, I mean, it, um, it even says it has berries in it. I don't smell berries either. I'm no. not putting it down. I love it in the wax. I love it in just about everything. But Fragrance again, it's flowers in Luna is uh, amazing. amazing. Kick ass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's grab a uh, newborn nursery. Oh, you can go ahead and grab that. Oh, <laughs> I have several customers who are crazy about this. And every time it goes out, of, before it goes out of the catalog, they're like, I've got to stock up. And What color is the wax for you? Uh, this is white, which oh, okay. I have the first yeah. time finding it in my bag because I thought it was baby blue, but maybe that's just the label. The label is baby blue. Right. right. It's, it's, so it's confusing whenever the label <laughs> is different from the wax. Yeah, like the perfectly implied with the, or pretty implied. I always want to say perfectly, but yeah. that one is, is the red and the green. Um, so very, very powdery, um, baby powder all day long. 
there's not a lot going on with this fragrance. It's not offensive by any means. Um, it's not something that I personally would warm, maybe like in a bathroom or something, but it does kind of remind me of grandma. So that's not really up my alley. Or on the opposite end of the, uh, end of the age spectrum, reminds me of baby powder, mm -hmm. like diapers, um, trying to cover up diaper smell because that's, you know, the talcum powder. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And that's oh. all it says is the scent notes. It just says fresh, clean, and powdery. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? People really like it in the scent packs because when it scents up those scentsy buddies, it makes babies feel like they're comforted, you know? I could see that. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, lavender cotton, which is actually not my favorite. This came out in the laundry line last season for the first time. People went crazy about it. I didn't, I wasn't so crazy about it in the laundry line. I wasn't so crazy about it in the pod, in the, in the, 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 um, Sensi Go pod, which I have in the wall fan diffuser in the backseat of my car. Okay. I have a plug in the backseat of my car, like a regular AC plug. And I have my wall fan diffuser back there and I can only use one pod and I can only turn it on for a couple of minutes at a time because it really, it's a very strong pod. But when I warmed the swax, I didn't smell anything. So this is a little bit of an elusive scent for me. Like I can't put my finger on it. I like the fragrance itself, mm -hmm. but I feel like every form of it has a different yeah, I love this on cold. I believe I tried it in laundry and it was okay. Um, and in terms of lavender, I enjoy lavender, but it, it does, it's very, I don't like a lot of it. So what I appreciate about this fragrance and as much as I said, I didn't like the, the baby powder scent is it's kind of this lavender powder kind of combination and it really tones down the lavender, which is helpful for me. I have not warmed this wax, but I think this would be great um, in, in like the body products as well. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if we have that yet, but- We, we don't. Do. Um, I, I, it would be interesting. I don't have them on hand right now. It would be interesting if we held up French lavender and newborn nursery together to yeah. see if those, because that's what it kind of feels like, right? It kind of feels right. like those two together. I might, I might have it. Oh, look. I will look. No, I lied. I don't have it. Okay. <laughs> I haven't put away my testers for like the last three weeks. So they're just sitting there. And just a, a menagerie uh, on your table, right? Yes. I did kick Jim out of the office though. So now I've got all this counter space. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your turn. Is it? Okay. Um, hmm. Let's do maple apple bourbon. Okay. You go ahead and do that one. I... <laughs> I'm saving you here tonight. So... I thought I was really going to love this fragrance because I used to burn a candle that was um, same thing. I think it was maple apple bourbon, I think it was called, and I loved it, but it was really heavy on the apple, just kind of like a spicy apple with a little sweetness in there. This is all maple to me. It's, it's yeah. very sweet and there's a little bit of the, the like spice notes in there. I very, very faintly might get a little bit of apple but it's it does not blow me away it was not for me um this is a bakery scent and it's just not my gig i ended up giving away five cubes of it to a customer I don't, and i haven't heard from her since so i don't know if she's mad at me or not <laughs> honestly this bar even like leached into the bars next to it this is a very strong maple scent if you don't like maple Mm -hmm. stay clear from this don't even <laughs> it's not even mixable i i was sat there like racking my brain like what can i mix this with to tone it down i couldn't even it, like it would just accentuate everything it, it, right I, I i feel like maybe maybe like johnny appleseed maybe 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 jump a jelly really bean maybe something like uh the juicy pear from the uh jelly belly collection yeah. something, something tart tart, tart probably would have but it's not worth my time since right. he has enough that i'm not going to try to make a six dollar bar work that hard you know what i'm saying yes. yeah all right so i'm going to talk about mocha doodle mocha doodle is one of those it's almost like amazon rain that it's such a it's such a staple with scentsy that i never think to use it because it's almost like it's almost like pulling a one dollar bill out of your pocket Mocha Doodle has been around forever and ever, 
and it's like, oh, I have 5,000 of those. I mean, I don't, but <laughs> every time I warm it, I'm just, I, cause I don't warm it very often, maybe once a year. Um, every time I warm it, I'm just like, damn it. I really like that because it's the perfect balance of not too chocolatey cause brownie batter can kiss my ass. I can't yeah. with, with brownie batter. Um, it's, it's almost like a chocolate and coffee, but it's subtle, but I really, it's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. And every time I warm it, I'm just like, okay, you know what? If I was just a regular customer and somebody gave this to me, I would just warm through it and that's it. But I, I very rarely buy this for myself. Do you ever use this? I hate it with uh, a passion. Uh, to me, it smells like a Tootsie Roll dipped in caramel. And I, no. <laughs> but it's not like brownie batter. Brownie batter no. like, was polluting. That I haven't warmed that. I will not warm that. I won't. I, I refuse to. And that's one of the only, I think there's only been three cents since I've been a Scentsy consultant that I've refused to warm. And brownie batter is one of them. I just, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I would say it's, I mean, it smells just like the powdered brownie mix. Like as soon as you open the box, but I don't want my house to smell like that. I don't exactly. want my car to smell like that. They can keep that. <laughs> I give away a lot of mocha doodle sun circles. I don't know why I do that if I don't love it. <laughs> like I, I should... try to be so neutral with when I'm giving out scent circles and things, but it's hard because, you know, people like different things, yeah. you know. Um, all right. I'll, I think we're down to the two Disney scents left. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Did you pull yours, Andrea? I actually didn't pull the Disney, but I have an N. So you, you go ahead and talk about the Disney. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've got uh, Mickey Mouse and Friends, and I've never warmed either of these waxes. <sighs> I'm not blown away by it. It, um, I don't even know how to describe. It smells like candy to me. Um, what are what are they calling it? I have warmed it. It okay. It was okay. It was okay. Uh, celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance almost as sweet thanks to Georgia peach accented with pops of orange peel and vanilla. Now that's interesting because I do really like peach and like apricot and that whole sort of family. But this, this smells like the, uh, like those peach fruit rings that you can get at the convenience store. That's mm -hmm. sort of what that smells like to me. And, and from what I remember, Love and Kisses Mickey is, uh, Love and Kisses Minnie is, mm -hmm. um, almost like Berry of Paradise. Is that? Yeah, yeah, now that you mentioned that, uh, let's see what they say. That's another one that I haven't warmed. Red berries, fresh apricot, creamy vanilla. I think, I think it might just be too sweet. I prefer, like, I like my fruit scents, but I like them to be really tart. So, tart, like cranberry and um, pomegranate. Yeah, me too. Yeah, things like that. So... I guess I can smell the berries in there and vanilla. So it is, it's kind of a, it's just like a sweet little girl fragrance to me, which well, is, I mean, it's Minnie Mouse, you know, Minnie I mean, Mouse, so right? accurate, you know. <laughs> Way to nail Nailed it, it. Nancy, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about Now and Zen. It's the only N scent that we have other than, oh wait, Newborn Nursery was N. Um, yeah. This, I thought I was going to love this because I love grapefruit and I love chamomile, but this was so light. In the clamshell, it smells great. We have a whole list of things that are coming out in a couple of days called the Bring Back My Bar, and Ice Hotel is in there. Now, not many people remember Ice Hotel. I remember it from three years ago. This reminded me of that. Um, so if you're curious about this one, go ahead and think about uh, ordering the Bring Back My Bar thing. Actually, if you, even if you're not a, a Sensi consultant right now, you can get in touch with your Sensi consultant, whether it be me, Matt, or whomever, and they can order you a sampler pack for 126, 127? Don't quote us, but something so, very Somewhere close between to 125 and $128. You can yeah. get a sampler pack and you get 20, 20 or 25? Mm. 25? 25 right, now gotta, bars. Now I got to pull up the news tab. <laughs> 25 full bars of wax and it's a collection. And you will have all of them, which is awesome. I actually ordered two sets this afternoon. Um, and Ice Hotel is in there. Ice Hotel is fantastic. But this is supposed to be sunny grapefruit and common chamomile. And 25. I've had, is it 25? Mm -hmm. I've had people reorder this multiple times now in Zen. And I don't see it. It's a spa scent. 
So it's possible because I worked in spas for 25 years. So it's possible that I'm just burnt out and I don't smell it. It's so boring to me. It's like any other Bath and Body Works candle or Yankee candle. I feel like even Yankee candle scents are a little bit deeper than this and a little bit more complex. This seems very light, very airy. Maybe if you had grandma coming to visit and you didn't want to offend her, but you wanted her to smell a little something when she walked into a room, this would be perfect. So I liked Now and Zen. Um, okay. I kind of tend to warm, and I've, I've ordered that several times. I, I tend to warm it when I'm cleaning the house. I, uh, that's just, because I'm not heavy in the, when I'm cleaning, I don't want to smell citrus, if that may. I don't know why. Like, that's going to be in my cleaners. I don't need overload of citrus. Uh, but I just like it because it's it's just clean, but it's not powdery um, to me at least. So okay. I, I've I've ordered that several times. Yeah, I don't smell powder in that at all. No. I, it, it's it's clean, and it's but it's non-distinct, and I, so I can see why you do that. Yeah, why, why you warm that? Okay. So we did that. So we did that. Now we have a collection. <laughs> There's a collection yeah. that's only available for like another five minutes. Um, if people are into Disney and they're into Frozen, Frozen 2 came out about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, whatever it was, and people are going crazy over this movie. I've never even seen the entire first one. Yes, I have the I box have right up box there. It's so pretty. I can't get over it. Like, that's why I ordered it. I mean, other than because I wanted to smell it, but I'm like, this is too pretty not to. I couldn't get the box back together. What's what? <laughs> It's just, it folds. It's very origami. It's, like, it's very sexual how it just, <laughs> yes, it's, just it's like a fuses. flower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it has five um, fragrances, fragranced waxes in there. And mm -hmm. it's cheap. It's, uh, what is it, $28 for five. So it's like less than $6 a piece. It's like five you something. You need to quit quizzing me on these I'm prices. Sorry. <laughs> I know it's 28 divided okay. by five. So it's 560 per bar. Um, that's a total deal. And you get like a menagerie, you get like a rainbow of scents. Now, even though it is December 18th, this is not a holiday collection right. in any way. Um, another thing that I thought was really cool with this collection, because a lot of times with collections, we're kind of stuck with the whole collection. Um, they have these all individually. Yeah. So you can get them in a three pack, you can get them in a six pack and mix, mix and match or singly, whatever you want to do. Um, so let's do it this way. Why don't you say your favorite two? My favorite two are Born to Lead and A Dance of Autumn. Okay. My favorite is Born to Lead, but also Fearless by Nature. Unfortunately, I knew you were going to like that. Unfortunately, I can never warm it though because my husband hates it. And I don't know why. I loved it. Every time I walked into the room, I was just like, oh my God, that smells so good. And he's like, damn, you're crazy. <laughs> I loved it. He said it smelled like sour to him, almost like sour cream or, um, yeah, so he smelled something sour. So like, like There's a urinal cake? The... He said urinal cake. I, I, <laughs> okay. I hate that he said that. <laughs> I'm kind of getting that. Um, so I think it's the sage, and there's like a little, a little soapiness to this, I think, as well. And maybe that combination yeah. is just something that doesn't sit well with him. I think this one smells great. Um, that This would probably be my number three pick. Um, but uh, the Born to Lead, like, Born to Lead is kick ass. Oh, yeah. I wormed that at work the other day, yesterday, I think. So good. So good. Uh, what were your thoughts on A Dance of Autumn? Because I think that was another one we thought you were going to. I liked it, but uh, because it's apple and I love apple, but mm -hmm. I don't really smell anything but apple. I almost mm -hmm. feel like it's a common, this is what I was thinking today. It's a combination of Johnny Appleseed and first day of autumn or first of autumn. First day of fall. First day of fall. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like if you took one cube of each of those and then just dulled it down to 40%. It's not strong enough yeah, for me. There was no staying power with this. Because um, right. my office at work isn't closed. So when I would be out, out of my office and come back in, I could smell it. But it wasn't sort of permeating the building the way that my sensei normally does. Yeah. But it's I'm, just I, not, not impressive in its strength. Sure. And then the other two, I, I, they're very, uh, well, um, Something Journey, the one with the horse on it. 
Yeah. I can't um, read it. Mythic? mythic. Oh my God. The, 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 you can't read that, you know? Yeah. Um, this one is very Barry to me. And in, I, I'm going to be saving this. I'm not going to be trying to use it up just to make space for the clamshell. I'm going to use this in the summer because I think this is a summer scent. And this one just almost like now and Zen feels generic. Yeah, the North, the North calls. calls. Very clean. Clean, I, a little sweet. A little, little sweet. I Yeah, a little bit like cotton candy in there a little bit. Yeah. I warmed it. I didn't feel like it was um, impressive. Right. Um, but damn, born to lead. It's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> to get, get a five pack of, of born to lead. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's funny. That was both of our favorites. Um, I'm kind of impressed. You know, you, you're always going to be hit or miss with a, a whole collection. You know, some you're going to like, some you're not. But for the most part, I think the collections lately, there have been some very good odds, so to say, you know, um, with just, and the two that we weren't crazy about, it's not because they're not good. It just didn't blow our socks off. These are still very pleasant smelling I would warm these if, if I had it in my drawer or whatever. There's, you know. Absolutely. If I wasn't in the fragrance business and if I didn't have 300 bars over there right. and I walked into White Barn and I smelled that candle, I would say, okay, yeah, give, give me it. Sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, we are we very get, picky. We are I think very we get spoiled because yeah. we have all of the options available. <laughs> you know, makes it hard though sometimes sometimes i wish like oh i wish i just had a couple bars and then i wouldn't have to think about this so much. but i think that's the beauty of scentsy club everybody who's watching this video should really consider just go on to youtube and search scentsy club mm -hmm. scentsy scentsy club i guess um we have this program where if you absolutely fall in love with something you can get it for the rest of your life and everything that's in my scentsy club is either my favorite or my customers favorites i have lucky in love uh ocean sweet pea and vanilla i have a ton of scents in there that are not my favorites they're just very much not me okay yeah. but then i also have cozy cashmere i have cashmere i have um woodland suede i have all that deep ambery stuff that i love and i'm gonna get it for the rest of my life and it's like like you said it's almost like a curse having this to at our um at our fingertips whenever we want it's kind of like whenever like i say to myself okay i'm gonna warm something new i haven't changed out my wax in two days it's like well shit, and i have absolutely no idea what i want to warm you know <laughs> and a lot of times i feel bad warming stuff that's old because i want to warm the new stuff that i haven't warmed but i want to feel happy and i want to like lift my spirit with fragrance because mm -hmm. that's that's kind of like what I love about this company is that, or any fragrance consultant loves about helping people lift their spirit with one of the five senses. We only have five. And if you don't nurture one of those five, you're a fifth of the way down. You know what I mean? Like, right. I just, I mean, you know, I always say that fragrance can connect people with memories, you know, but it can completely just change your mood. And it's amazing how it happens. Like, I'll, you know, I show up to work. And I'm like, oh boy, another day, you know, and then I sit down, I hit my little power strip and my, both my warmers turn on and like everything just kind of mellows out over my first cup of coffee, you know? Um, I just think it's amazing. It, it's it is. Great. Yeah. It is. I've been doing this for a really long time and I can't tell you how many times people have just been like, Man, what is that scent? Whether it's, you know, a workman coming into my apartment to do some, you know, like lighting or something like that. Or I, as a massage therapist, I have somebody on my table or something like that. And they're like, damn, what is that scent? If I, if I can help them recreate a moment of happiness or serenity, Mm -hmm. which I love that word serenity um, at another time when they're not around me. That's really what sen being a sensei consultant is about is like recreating a moment of happiness for somebody right. when they're not in your presence, you're actually helping them weeks down the road. You know what I mean? I had somebody today who called me up and she was like, I have no money and I'm not going to have money for like two weeks. 
but I need wax. Like she, I have she, those. Was, <laughs> she was embarrassed about yep. asking me. And I was just like, absolutely. I got you because I know her personally. She's right. a local, uh, local uh, customer. I'm like, I, I understand. And she was embarrassed and I understood hundred percent. I said, I got you get back to me in two weeks. I'll come in. You can sniff out like 10 or 15 bars. You take what you need and then you pay me when you can. You know? Yeah. Um, what else? Did we, oh, you've got a combination going right now. Lucky you. <laughs> I have a terrible combination going. <laughs> okay, so uh, the Harvest and the Holiday Collection were a little bit disappointing to me this year. Um, the Holiday Collection did have Evergreen and Grapefruit, and that ended up in my Scentsy Club. And that, out of all six bars, there were three in the Holiday, three in the in the Harvest. Mm-hmm. Um, out of all six bars, I only put one in my Scentsy Club. And this one did not make it into my Scentsy Club. And I've been trying to fix it. I've been trying, like like I said, with the maple apple bourbon, I'm working really hard for some reason, trying to make this work. <laughs> apple cherry cider, because I love apple and I love cherry and I love cider. But Jesus Christ, I cannot, <laughs> okay? It's, it's, I, I don't know what it is. It smells like mulled wine, I think, which I wouldn't mind drinking. So I'm like, how do I fix this? I probably should have mixed it with something herbal, but instead I made it even worse. And I mixed it with Cozy Cookie, which is not necessarily, you can't get this anymore. This was in the Cozy Collection. Why I, would you ever warm Cozy Cookie? I don't know, <laughs> because I was insane. It's the same reason why I couldn't do Wax Chat Wednesday last week. <laughs> I went through a, a, I went through a, you know, a, a moment. It was a moment. <laughs> I had, I had a, um, a, a week, but this was part of my insanity. Cozy Cookie is so bakery and so syrupy and so sugary, and if you like that, you That's will great. absolutely like. It. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus, it, it like it accentuated everything that I hated about this. So these two together are like six, six, six right there. So <laughs> don't do this. I don't even even if you're a bakery fan, I would suggest that you not do this. This apple cherry uh, apple cherry cider and cozy cookie. It's hell. It's hell. So sorry about that experience, <laughs> but I had a very lovely combination going last night and still going. Um, and this is with three cents and normally I wouldn't mix that many at one time, but I had them open. So I said, why not? Mm -hmm. But I used pretty and plaid, which is the set of the month this month. It was 10% off. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I mixed it with snow kissed cranberry, which was the prior set of the month and cranberry garland. So good. It's, it. (laughs) Christmas. It's just Christmas. Period. But there's cranberry in all three of those. Yes. And Will and I love cranberry. And, um, and I think, is there juniper in all three of those? So you don't have to look it up. Is there? Okay. But I know that I know that there's juniper in uh, the, the, the Pretty and Plant because I was just explaining it to somebody like an hour ago. Yeah. It's got juniper and wintergreen and cranberry. That is a magical combination. Oh my God. And then the cranberry garland, I actually have that in my vestibule. You walk into my, um, my apartment building and there's like a space in between the out, outer door and inner door to my apartment. And I have a sun circle hanging there. And it's like the workmen who are coming in and the mailman who comes in, they're like, damn, this smells so good in here. And, I'm just, and it's one little scent circle of cranberry garland. It's like, cause it's cranberry and pine. It's so fun. It's such a great combination. Right. It's, it's a bummer that it doesn't taste good. I wonder if it would taste good. <laughs> cause it smells so good. That would be a whole different kind of show. Right? <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> A little like um, gel or something that you can put places. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes. Wow. So this was only a half an hour. That's good. That was good. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything specifically? Maybe we should talk about Bring Back My Bar. We can talk about Bring Back My Bar. I don't have the list up or anything. Well, it's but not Bring about Back that. My Bar is coming. Yeah. Okay. 
say that. If you were a consultant, you could have ordered a set of Bring Back My Bar, which is 25 cents out of the catalog, not in the catalog, not in any LTO, not, it's just what happens is every six months, they open up the voting and people vote for their favorites. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't really buy, I don't really buy into the whole bring back my bar voting thing. Um, people vote for things and then all of a sudden other things get voted in like tomato vine and <laughs> midnight fig and stuff that I love, but there's Nobody controversy. Else does. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So yeah, and I mean, if you are a consultant and have not done this bundle book, I do it every time. Um, not only do we get them early and we can make our samples and do whatever it is that we're going to do with them, that's PRV, that's trip points, that's that's everything. So it's a no-brainer for me. I think I earned, I think tonight with uh, the, the release of the Bring Back My Bar to Consultants, I think I earned an additional thousand points for the um, for the incentive trip, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Only because I needed the thousand PRV for one month um, for the consistency thing. Uh, people don't you won't yeah. really want to hear about that, but you do kind of want to hear about that because <laughs> it's it's kind of fun to work towards these little mini goals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I already earned uh, Matt and I both mm -hmm. already earned the the the. Uh, cruise, cruise, cruise to Bermuda, Bermuda. and yeah. we're going to be drinking the entire time, <laughs> the entire time. and you could totally be there with us <laughs> and we're going to be smelling things mm -hmm. it'll be wax i promise uh we're going to be drinking things we're going to be experiencing things it's going to be a total blast but yeah. um the bring back my bar is really fun because you get 25 bars of wax and then you can just like warm a new bar of wax every day in a different room i just have a thought there's going to be a wednesday that we're on a boat <gasps> Oh, we could do Wax Chat Wednesday from the boat. Wax Chat <laughs> Water Wednesday. Oh. That's going to be Wax awesome. Chat Wednesday Waves or something. I don't know. <laughs> We're on a boat. <laughs> um, so there's that to look forward to. There's that to look forward to. Um, so we're all going to be getting our sampler packs next week. Mm -hmm. um, we're also going to be getting the scent of the month, the warmer of the month, wax, uh, wax. Uh, Matt and I do a lot more wax chat here. We're not really going to be talking about warmers, but we got a kick-ass warmer coming. <sighs> yeah, mine will be here tomorrow. Love I can't, I've, everyone's get, got theirs already. I know, I'm, I'm not getting mine till Friday. <sighs> Wait till you see them. Travesty. Uh, and then in January, we got all kinds of good stuff. By the way, Sensi is probably going to be having a joint special in January, which is pretty crazy because it's also... Yeah. 10% off month and bring back my bar. You month. said it. Oh, I said it. I said <laughs> you weren't going to we say it and you said no, it. I know, but we have one more week to tease. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So um, I hope everybody has a fantastic Wednesday, December 18th. I'm hoping to get this up on my YouTube channel tonight because By I, have not, I have not been consistent with that. So um do you have anything else you want to close with? Or? No, I think I think that's it. I think we, uh, I hope this format works. So I'm really curious, please, you guys, um, we want to hear your thoughts tonight because this is completely different from how we've been doing it. Um, so feedback is always appreciated, good, bad, and different. Especially if you have some technology um, education or experience because like Matt and I have been working with like OBS and BeLive at, well, not necessarily working with, but we both have a little bit of research with it, um, with Facebook Live. And we're trying to figure out the best way for the two of us to go live at the same time on our personal pages and our business pages and Facebook Live at the same time. And right. it, we've had a bitch of a time trying to figure out, for some reason, the audio is the biggest hurdle so that's why we both have headphones on tonight. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. So I hope everybody has a great night. Goodbye. See you later.